Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels, and in my video today, I'm actually going to be showcasing a lot of the pins that I recently picked up from Box Lunch and Hot Topic. There's going to be a number of pins, so I'm going to kind of keep this intro as short as possible. But if you like pin content in general, or just knowing what they can find, what you can find at Box Lunch or Hot Topic, this is the video for you. You might see me in a couple of different videos wearing this shirt. I'm literally filming a couple different videos today wearing this, but I've changed out the ears each time, and today I'm featuring. Um, my figment ears. I love these ears. They came out for the Festival of the Arts uh, two years ago, I believe, and I absolutely love them. So at any rate, I have a bag here from Hot Topic. I just went to my mall yesterday. I have a bag here from Box Lunch, and I just got my newest Hot Topic bag in the mail today. So I have these plus a whole pile of pin boxes I've been hoarding, so we'll see how many I can get through in this video. But let's just get into it without further ado. So if you like this type of content, please give, it, give this video a like, consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and that way you can find out every time I post something new. Okay, let's get into it. So let's start with the new um, bag because this is stuff that I haven't had a chance to see just yet. But I ordered it online and inside is my order slip. It includes some hot cash that I can redeem beginning um, April 22nd. Good to know that's coming up. And the thing that I have in here, I believe I ordered five of one box. Oh no, one got smushed. I hate when things get smushed. I have a return slip, I have a $15 off coupon, my next purchase of $50 or more. So the first thing that's in here, I have it five times, and some of them are a little more smushed than others, so that's disappointing. This one got smushed, this is two, this is three, looks like it's fine, this one is four, and this one is five. So only one of them is smushed, thank goodness, but I'll show you what this is. I have five of the brand new soft serve ice cream pins. I hadn't known these were released, but my friend went online that day and was like, are these new? And I went online and I was like, yeah, they're definitely new. I had gotten the previous version, but this one has new ice cream. So that's a close up of what that looks like. So you guys can get a taste of that. They're brand new ice cream soft serve pins from Hot Topic. And I'm gonna get into that in this video right now. I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm so excited for it. But basically you have an aerial one and I love how the aerial one is like, it's got like a pink flower, but then it's red and green, so you know it's Ariel, and it's like shaped like her tail. Um, but then you have a Cinderella one, and the Cinderella one has the glass slipper in the very top. The Rapunzel Tower one is on the right that's so cute, and it also has the like flowers and like the sundials. On the bottom you have a bell one, per usual, and that one has the enchanted rose with the little fallen petal leaves. Next to that is Mulan with Mulan's comb and the little cherry blossoms. I literally want that one so badly. Um, and then the white flower, uh, I forget what those are called, but the beautiful flowers. And then finally you have Tiana with the, the lily um, at the top, water lily, so, so cute, and a water, and a lily pad. So I'm gonna get into these pins, um, but let me show you first what else I got. Um, the other, before I get ahead of myself. So I have the ice cream pins, and then I was also able to order, all oh, these just arrived a little bent, so. Hot Topic usually does a better job of sending out their pins, and the latest pick shipment, they got a little bent, so I'm a little annoyed by that, but I like the pins, so we'll let it slide. This is a twofer. They had a two-pin set with Cinderella's um, mice, as well as her carriage, and I had to get that. The carriage actually has hearts for the sh in the center of the wheel, and this one has Susie, Perla, and... I always forget the names of the mice, but the female mice from the movie and then you have the carriage down there. This is absolutely stunning. Love this two pin set. Gonna be a great addition to my Cinderella collection. And the price on this was $9.90 for this two pin set. So excited to have this pin enter my life. Let me show you the other thing that I got from Hot Topic before I get into box lunch. And then I'm gonna open up the mystery pin. So this is my Hot Topic bag. This is what I picked up in store. And this is before I saw the soft serves um, that I had known I had pre-ordered five in person. But they had a deal in store and so I grabbed more of the soft serve but boxes. So I have two more here. Um, I think I grabbed more though. Looks like I got three more of the soft serves. I'm gonna put the newer ones from in store. Whoops, I just dropped that, but that's fine. On the side so I can get to that next. Um, and then from the store, I also picked up boxes that I hadn't seen online yet, but they looked really cool. And these are like the outfits, the coats and dresses um, it's like more like the outerwear of the Disney villain. So it's a Disney villains box on the front. You can see it says blind box pin, but then you have like the outfits and there's one for Lady Tremaine. There's one for Cruella. There's one for Maleficent on the bottom. looks like Mother Gothel, I think. Um, then the evil queen and then the queen of hearts. So 
super exciting to see which ones I get. And again, I just grabbed three of these from the store. They only had, I can't remember, but they, I guess they did have more of this because they had more of a box, but I want to try these out first. So I have three of these, three more of the ice cream pins, and then all the ones I ordered online. So without further ado, let's start cracking into our Hot Topic pins, and then I can show you what I got for box lunch. Obviously, I want Mulan and Little Mermaid the most, but the Rapunzel and Cindy ones are also pretty. And since I have like nine of these boxes, or eight of these boxes, I guess I'm hoping for a complete set. Let's see if we could do that. Without further ado, let's crack into this puppy. My first pick is Cinderella. Oh, this is so pretty. It's got like a light blue with the white soft serve. It's got little sparkles everywhere. And then her glass slipper is slightly poking out on the top. I love this. These are so cute. I'm going to put this on a board so you guys can see them all better at the end too. But that's basically the Cinderella pin right there. That was box number one. Let's get into box number two. And box number two is Deanna. And it is the beautiful water lily on the top with a bunch of white pearls throughout. And it looks super like Tiana's um, whole aesthetic. So that is super pretty. I like that a lot. Almost like a lime, <laughs> like a lime themed ice cream, right? All right, let's go to the, our third. And our third pick is... So far, no duplicates, and I'm super excited. I got the Ariel one, which is the one I wanted the most. It's got a beautiful flower on top, like he loves me, he loves me not. Beautiful bubbles as well. The red and the white sherbet and um, lemonade, probably flavored. And then her green fin tails at the bottom of the cone. Absolutely think this is so stunning. Love this particular pin. Loungefly always does a great job with these little mystery pin sets, I think. I really like them, and the back all have the crowns in gold and whatnot. So that is pin number three. Pin number four. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, we don't have any duplicates so far. This is the Rapunzel one. It's so pretty. It's got the purple tower on top, pink and light pink throughout the swirl. And it's got yellow, white, and purple flowers. I love it. And the bottom is purple, just like her dress. The signature pink and purple in Rapunzel. I love all the details in this one. It's absolutely stunning. I'm loving these pins. Oh my gosh, my ice cream picks that they sent me so far are really good. Okay, I have one left from my original order. Let's see what I was able to get. There are six total pins and so far I have shown you four of them. We are missing Belle and Mulan at this point. Mulan, Mulan, Mulan. Whoever picked those pins out did it perfectly. I got every single one that I wanted. The only one I don't have right now is Belle. I kind of don't even want to open up the rest of the boxes now because I feel like if I get a duplicate, I'm going to be sad. But this is so exciting. So here's Mulan. Absolutely stunning. I love that she has the comb on top and you can see this has a signature um, little flowers throughout as well. Oh, so pretty with a pink and white um, or pink and like lighter pink swirl that's more like a cherry blossom design and then it's green on the bottom just like her design. This is so cute. That was all five that I got from my online order. I picked up some ones in store but I don't know how great my pick is going to be. Which one should I open? I don't know. Whatever I do, it's going to be a duplicate. Let's just do it. You're in it now, girl. You are in it. Okay. Okay. So the one I just picked in my hand is another duplicate Mulan. There we go. One more Mulan, so those are back in the back. I have another box that I picked out. Let's see what she is. And I should say I left exactly one soft serve ice cream in the store. They were sold out otherwise. There were only four boxes left and I grabbed three of them. Okay, this I can work with. I got another Ariel one. 
if you want my favorite ones I feel like that will be popular and then my final box is right here what are the chances we can get bell it makes it so hard when you're looking for exactly one at the end right oh, I just ripped that box too whoopsie now I'm definitely keeping this <laughs> okay here we go and this one is okay so at least I only got one duplicate of each though. So I do have a duplicate Rapunzel as well. Belle is the only one that I need. So I have one extra Rapunzel, one extra Ariel, and one extra Mulan for trade that I will have to make available to other people in order to get Belle so I can complete the whole ice cream soft serve set. That is pretty awesome though. Now I'm gonna dive into the dress coat ones. And let's see, um, of all the villain coats, I really like the Lady Tremaine one just because you barely, rarely ever see stuff for her. So that could be kind of cool. The Maleficent one and Cruella are probably my other top choices. But Evil Queen will also be fantastic. If I got the King of Hearts, however, I have a friend who really likes that kind of pin, so we'll see. <laughs> and my first one is the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> okay, so it is actually a really nice pin. It's nice and soft enamel, um, but it's like not... The one nice thing about these pins is that the quality of them is not like some other Hot Topic Loungefly pins where it's like a lesser enamel. Like it's actually a very nicely painted on design. So I like that you have the black contrasted with the white and the yellow and the checker design. So it looks just like the Queen of Hearts dress. Very, very cool with the overcoat design. So that is pin number one. And we have... It's the Evil Queen! Okay, I almost like the Queen of Hearts better because she was nice and big and stout. This one has two painted lines in the center that make it like a little bit less of a defined print in my opinion, but it's still super pretty. So there you have the silhouette of shape of her actual dress. You just don't have her head and her legs, but super cool. That definitely looks like the Evil Queen's outfit. So that is nice right there. And then I have one more of the coats. So let's get into that and then I can open up my box lunch mail or box lunch pickup I should say I didn't mail it it's Cruella okay so this one is Cruella's lovely fur coat <laughs> and it's got a nice black center with the red um like triangle triangular shape on the top so that is a look at all three of those pins right there super neat and very glad I got a chance to try these out Lady Tremaine would be a cool one to get so I'm going to have to see if I can get my hands on that eventually, but I'm happy with my pick. So that was awesome. Now let's go into Switch Gears, and this is what I got from Box Lunch. Basically from Box Lunch, there's one item that is a gift, so I'm not going to show that, but I had wanted to get this with my recent Box Lunch money, and I held off because I thought I have a lot of coin purses, and usually you order them from Box Lunch, and if you haven't seen it in person, you know, you don't know what you're getting. And a lot of times when I order from Box Lunch, the coin purses... They're super tiny in person, at least the ones I've gotten lately. This one was the opposite. I thought it would be small, but then I saw it in person, and I was like, this thing is gigantic. I kind of need to get it. So I did, and it's Ariel. <laughs> it's a beautiful print of Ariel. Look how beautifully she's drawn there. I absolutely love that. And there is flounder as well next to her. You've got a lot of beautiful flowers. These are actually embroidered into the design, whereas this is painted on. And you've got bubbles, some... um under the sea coral or seaweed, whatever that is, and then some more leaf plant life. So beautiful, beautiful. A nice pink border at the top. You flip it around and you have more of the starfish and floral design painted on the bottom with the sand. So gorgeous. These are your card holder spaces, some more over here. And then the very top is a lounge fly zipper. Um, this is actually the coin purse part, so you can actually put coins into this. So very multi, like, multiple uses for this because you can actually put actual coins and put your actual cards in here. I will probably start using this like tomorrow. I have been using my Loungefly Christmas design ever since Christmas. We are now in April. It's March 31st as I'm filming this. It's going to be April tomorrow and I think it's time to move on from Christmas. This is going to become my new wallet. I absolutely love it. So super excited for this. Then I picked up some pins. That was the rest of the items that I got from Box Lunch. They had the new Earth Day pins, so I did grab two boxes. They also had the new um, Mickey's Runaway Railway train sets. They only had two. They had Pluto and Goofy. But my friend Christine from Magic Wishing Star had already picked up Pluto for me from her recent trip. So I didn't buy it knowing that she is already sending that to me when the next chance she gets, she gets. So I will have that coming too. I'm very excited about that pin. 
you guys haven't seen it, they released like four different pins from the train set. Really awesome. And so I hadn't seen these in person, but saw Disney Pins Block had posted this online, and now I've seen them in person for the first time. These are Earth Day mystery pin boxes that Loungefly came out, and I do like that they're in like this nice brown, like earth tone box. And it almost feels like recyclable paper as well, so that's a nice touch. And then on the back, you basically have, um, it looks like there's eight different designs, and there is Mickey holding what looks like a green earth symbol with like mountains maybe. Um, Minnie Mouse is holding up a plant in her hands, which is super nice. Then you have um, Pooh Bear with a pot next to him. He's just like gardening in his garden. You've got Marie hanging outside of a pot. She's very, very cute. Then you have Stitch watering a plant. You've got Wally, um, or actually that's Eve. Um, and she's got like the boot with the plant as well. You've got the Toy Story alien pointing to the globe. And then you finally have Forky standing up in front of a recycling bin. So you can't get more perfect than that. I do have two of these pins to open. And then the final thing that I picked up from Box Lunch was a donut box. I wasn't going to do it, but I finally saw these in person. And even though I already have the two that I really wanted from this set, I mean, the Aurora one looks really pretty. And then the Rapunzel one looks really pretty. Those are my top two choices that I would try to get from this now. And then maybe the jasmine one so at any rate i was like let's just try one of these pins plus these are huge if you haven't seen the donut pins they're really big so i'm gonna start with the donut pin and then get into the earth day pins just to see what other fun stuff that we have coming our way i think i'm gonna leave the pin um unboxing at these new pin boxes and i'll do all the other boxes that i've stored up in its own separate video because it's gonna be too long otherwise but okay donut pin so rapunzel aurora are probably my top choices and then jasmine after that let's see what we get I got one of the ones I said. Oh my gosh. I will say that the colors of the box look that look a lot darker than the actual print, but this is Aurora. I can see Aurora's crown, and then it's got a beautiful purple and pink um, on here. On the bottom are the flowers, and the top is her crown with swiggles and a lot of beautiful designs. So it's very pretty. Pink and purple are the colors that are popping out of this pin. Very girly and very appropriate. So... I will enjoy this. This is super nice. And finally, let's get into the Earth Day pins. And from the eight choices, I would say probably, I mean, I don't really care which one I get. I just was curious to see what these are. But the Marie one just looks the cutest. I love the green alien, so I'm always fun with that. And then Stitch is actually a top choice, but the Minnie Mouse with the plant in her hands would fit a lot of my designs, a lot of my collections I already have, so we'll see. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> it's Eve. I don't collect Eve at all, but this is actually a super interesting pin. There is like a weird white, like a circle peck mark on it, almost like it got stamped with something. That's strange. Is it supposed to have that? It's not drawn in the box. So, hmm. If there are any Eve collectors, I do have the Eve one. I'll put this up for trade most likely, but there's like a very slight little pock mark in the green. Otherwise, she looks very pretty. Super unique pin. You don't often see pins of Eve at all. So that'll be a fun trader. And then the last box that I have here. Okay, my final pick is, looks a little bit bigger. It's Pooh Bear. Okay, so this is a nice one. So Pooh is standing in front of a pot. Okay, so I had an issue with both of these pins. With the Eve one, she had like a weird, like almost stamp in her. Who has some weird, it's almost like a piece of hair was painted over with the gloss. And he also has like a fuzz sticking out of his mouth. And I just took him straight out of the bag. So they both kind of came a little defective. I don't know if these were just rushed or what, but Lounge probably didn't do the best job with these, with these Earth Day pins, given that the two that I just got from separate boxes have a slight flaw. That's a little interesting, but I'll show you to you anyway. All right, so here's the Pooh Bear one. Very closely, you can see he's got like a hair. That's not my hair. That's literally stuck inside the gloss enamel too. I can't get that out, which is kind of gross. <laughs> it's like a little slight fuzz or looks like a hair or something. And then the other fuzz. So they ruined my cute pin. I don't know if someone would want it trade for this, but I also have Fuzzy Pooh. Fuzzy Pooh has a hair on him. And then Eve. <laughs> Eve is a little bit like more acceptable. It's just a small little circle. You could you could ignore that, but 
I don't like hair on things. Anyway, <laughs> just me. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed seeing my pins from Loungefly from both Box Lunch and Hot Topic. I had a lot of fun showing you guys that as well as the new purse that I just picked up from Box Lunch because I absolutely love that little mermaid one. She is going to be a keeper with me forever. Um, this will probably go up before the other pin video just because I feel like this is a little bit um, more newer pins and the other ones are now older. I've just been holding on to them for so long. So you will see this version of of pins from Box Lunch and Hot Topic. And then in my future video, you'll see all the other ones that I have been ho holding on to and hoarding. So I will have lots more trades to come if you are interested in doing that with me as well. Always happy to trade. Um, I also do pin sales occasionally, so we'll see about that. But at any rate, thanks for watching my video. Let me know what your favorite pin was. If we're twins on anything, if you're looking for a specific one and you want to do that trade, do hit me up. And I hope to talk to you guys soon in the next video. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey. Hey.